go watch this. Um, and uh, there's a response and shit. So we're gonna see what this what this is about. All right. How far would you go for some updutes on the internet? How badly LeBron. do you want to suckle from that juicy teat of internet clout? I've actually started quite a few videos with that exact same question. It seems that today the most important thing to people is the numbers on the screen. Bigger number, better person. Everyone's so desperate to squeeze as much milk as possible from those beautiful honkers of internet points. And no price is too high. We've seen some wacky, goofy shit recently for those internet points. You remember those dudes that went to jail for three years on TikTok because they were filming a stop the train prank where they just sit on the train tracks and hope the train stops in time before they get brutally fucking blasted by it? Why would and then you... it actually did stop and then they went to jail. Who was that one dude who like literally was like, um, he got famous, um, for like doing like crazy shit in public? What was that guy's name? Be no, no, no. Um, Ice Poseidon. Like, uh, yeah, Ice Poseidon. No, uh, uh, Boonkang? Oh, uh, yeah, Boonkang. What's his name? I can't remember his name. That's all I knew him as. Uh, he was the. Uh, he's dead now, I'm pretty sure. Oh, what the? Wait, fuck? what? Is he dead? No. No. And he got shot. Oh my god. But like that's just an example like that dude would literally do anything for views. And then like it just it's just a bunch of people like like that who would just do that. Okay, he's not that okay, yeah. Specific okay, he, got, he got shot though, right? Like it was something shooting related. Specific, I think you're just high, bro. No, something happened. <laughs> We also recently saw that kid play the fake robbery prank on some strangers and he got shot and died for it. His last words were quite literally just a prank, bro. Uh, at least according to a few sources, that was an extremely sad one. So we've seen some crazy shit. People really will do anything for some internet fame. And today I want to talk about a pretty special case. It's it's someone that I'm sure you've heard of. I've talked about him before. A lot of people have. He's been a big name on YouTube for a while. His name's Nakato Avocado. If you're on Twitter, you've probably seen his asshole floating around pretty often. For some reason, it was a big trend in meme to just post Nakato Avocado's OnlyFans content all over Twitter. So I've seen his butthole more times than I've seen him doing his mukbangs. What? For those that don't know, Nak Nakato Avocado is a mukbang YouTuber. Type 1 if you've never seen his butthole, and type 2 if you have. Uber, it's primarily what he does. Mukbangs are when you just eat <laughs> on camera, and that's about it. I'm not really here to get into the lore of Nakato Avocado. There's a ton of videos that do dive into it. I want to talk about what's going on recently with him. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and take my swampy ass out of here for a second and let Nakato Avocado kind of take it away. This is from his most recent video. This is kind of what his content has become. I wouldn't have become disabled if it weren't for you people who encouraged these videos. This is the $6, this is the $10. <coughs> Ouch! My ribs! How many months are we gonna have to endure this pain? All right, let's go for this. Ooh, this definitely looks cheesier. Got this one, and I'm allergic to this one too. Oh, but sometimes. Dude, this is my new diet as a disabled person. Like that's actually psychotic. What? Sometimes in life, you just want what you can't have. I'm not allowed to have garlic, or lots of onions, or durian. Now, to anyone that's familiar with this creator, you'll probably think that this is nothing special. This just looks like every other video he's ever made, just with less crying. You've probably even seen Nakato Avocado around other parts of the internet. If you don't even know who he is, you've probably seen some of his clips. He usually will eat something and then just start breaking down into tears and crying about something. He's notorious for constantly crying. So then why did I decide this video and these clips to show you? Well, as you can tell from the title of that video, he now claims to be a disabled person, which I'll get into in a minute, but I wanna focus on what he said at the beginning, outside of making some of the most revolting noises I've heard in quite some time while undergoing some kind of exorcism. <laughs> he said, it's your fault for encouraging these videos. 
Now, he's, he says shit like this pretty often. And it shows me that there's still some self-awareness deep within him somewhere. Locked, locked deep away. But that rational side of him, he keeps buried. Locked in a cage. And still does this content. Even knowing better. Even knowing that it's a complete detriment to his overall health and well-being. He continues to do it while still having that small glimmer of self-awareness. He says it's your fault for encouraging it. And he's absolutely right. Nakano Avocado didn't start as this kind of channel. Even four years ago, 2017, so four years ago now, he was a very healthy person. He seemed to be pretty mentally, you know, sound. He wasn't breaking down on camera all the time and going wild and crazy from what I remember. He was even extremely good at an instrument. I think it was the violin, if I remember correctly. He was a vegan. He was just preaching some really positive stuff. But then he started to notice that the videos that gained a lot of traction were videos where he was just fucking gluttonous and eating a million calories per sitting. So he stuck with it. And now he has a couple of channels where he does this pretty much every day, and it's been like this for the last four or so years. This is what he used to look like in 2017, and then when the videos really started to gain traction, he gained over 200 pounds in the last couple of years. And it's absolutely true. It's the audience's fault for this. They created what Nakato Avocado has become. Obviously, it's not all their fault. He is making the conscious decisions to completely throw away his health and well-being, which has now led to his disability, which he claims to have. Again, Nakato Avocado is not the most... Real Somebody actually asked a good question. Why do people like watching mukbangs? Like, why is that like a big fucking I, I think category? I think it's the same, the same concept as like ASMR. There's like a satisfaction thing to it. Right. Yeah, but isn't ASMR like sexual? To, I mean, nah, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, there, there, there's definitely some sexual undertone in it. Oh yeah, for sure, like an innuendo. But... Yeah, like I feel like there's nothing sexual about a mukbang. No, it's just like relaxing, like I guess for people, right? Like. No, Chad, I'm not saying all ASMR is sexual. There definitely is. I'm just saying oh, there yeah, is some. Sure, yeah. But I'm just saying I feel like there's no sexual mukbang, unless that's like literally like a fetish, which. Come on, bro. I maybe pe I don't know because that that um there's a lot of YouTube channels that just strictly do that. I've never I've never sat down and watched a mukbang and like wanted to watch it. Like nah, yeah. the only food thing I've ever watched on YouTube is like someone reviewing like a new food that came out. Um, but like watching someone eat like a meal for like an hour, I can't, I can't believe that that's a fucking, that's a category, bro. No, Matt Stoney is different. Yeah, Matt Stoney is, yeah, he's like, he, he does that competitively. He'll do like, he'll do like one video a month and it's like a banger and it's like, Sweat you know, eating like baby, fucking a hundred nuggets or something. He, that's not a mukbang. Mukbang is literally like people sitting there for an hour eating like an entire meal yeah like in your car or some shit yeah reliable narrator he makes a lot of shit up sometimes so whether or not he actually now has a disability it's anyone's guess he claims to have three broken ribs which is attributed to his incredible weight gain incredible being the wrong word really just astonishingly upsetting weight gain that he's been putting on recently he claims that the weight of his body has now broken a few of his ribs which now has him bedridden i think he also claimed to now have to have a full-time nurse in order for him to just engage in day-to-day -day activities and he also has been diagnosed with sleep apnea i believe which is why you'll see on his most recent thumbnails he has like that machine hooked up to his nose that makes him look like some kind of like cyborg from the future or something dude l dude look at these thumbnails my diagnosis has arrived. I'm disabled. Taco Tuesday. My new d life is a disabled person. My new diet is a disabled person. This is yeah. every day, bro. That's like... That's actually pretty crazy. What the fuck? It, it, it seems to really be going downhill quickly for him. People have been saying for the last couple of years that Nakato Avocado is literally killing himself for oh. YouTube views. And it's absolutely true. Oh my god. Did you see pictures of how he used to look? Yeah. He is slowly killing himself Mask and documenting masking. the journey the entire time while having an understanding of exactly what he's doing. He's well aware that he is throwing away his health, his well-being, his happiness, 
for the sake of some YouTube views because his audience continues to eat it up, much like he eats up a million fucking cheeseburgers every couple of days. For almost the last four years, almost every day, he has done mukbangs like this, where he's eating six pizzas, eight pizzas. He'll get, like, fucking McDonald's and he'll order everything off the menu and then ask if they can Ew. just tilt the grill over to get a little extra grease in a cup for him to drink on camera. It has been an extremely sad thing to see. He's also been saying for a little while now that he's going to be losing some weight. His weight loss journey has begun. But what ends up happening is for every pound he loses, he gains 10 more. I didn't play much of the video here, but he even mentioned that. He even goes on to say after the Your Fault speech that he, you know, he started his weight loss and he lost a pound, but then gained three more because he wanted to please his audience with more videos or something like that. So it's just truly a pretty awful thing to see. As you probably noticed from the screenshot, the last six days he's posted a video each day talking about his disability and his new diet with it and each one. He has tons and tons of food from different places, and it's not clickbait. He really eats all of that food. Very rarely does he not finish his plate. He usually finishes it or gets very close to it. Almost nothing goes to waste. It goes right into Nakato Avocado's guts. And one thing you may have also noticed from that screenshot is his views are high, which is exactly why he does it. Yeah, most of them have more dislikes than likes. But even on the one I showed you, that's still like 4,000 likes. So there are 4,000 people dropping a fat like, leaving an encouraging comment. And he's usually peddling some merch. So the shirts you see him wear, he immediately pins in a comment for you to buy them. And I imagine he sells quite a few shirts. Even the people that get, get in there just to dislike or just tune in to watch the train wreck, that's more views for him. That's more engagement. That helps him. And that keeps him on this wagon, keeps him going. So overall, it's just a really shitty cycle. And I tune in occasionally just to see if Nakato Avocado is making any strides in, in helping himself because it seems like he really wants to sometimes and then he goes right back into going to Chick-fil-A to literally eat fucking food off the floor like David Hasselhoff. Like, it, it's, it, it's just really sad. Obviously, I'm exaggerating. He doesn't usually visit the restaurants. He just orders it and then eats it from either his bed or his own, like, table that he sets up for it. Uh, when he is out in public, though, he's usually on one of the mobility scooters, and he kind of he, he gets he gets a little crazy out there, because a lot of what his content has become is him making really gross noises and shaking his head around while trying his best to like shake his whole body around to really let you know that he's gained a lot of weight. Which I don't know, man. The whole thing is just weird and just sad, uh, and, and that's that's all I, I wanted to talk about. This is just another one of those things where it's like, man. The links people go to for some internet fame, like, you know, it's just upsetting to see. So, I mean, yeah, that's really about it. So, yeah. That was like this dude casually talking about this for like nine minutes. And that shit got like eight million views. Dude, go, pa like, pa yeah. Penguins is the go. Yeah, bro. that's the go. That's kind of crazy, bro. That's, the, that's literally fucking OG, bro. He's OG, bro. Yeah, dude, so he, he, was, like, he was one of the first people I watched. Oh, really? Yeah. YouTube, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, I'm, you've seen his. Videos. I gotta, I gotta I'm catch not kidding, up. You've literally seen his videos. Like when you were younger. I probably have. When you were younger, it was like the voiceover commercial. He did like a hundred of those things. So, but I got this queued up though. This is the response. How long this is, is forty one minutes. Forty minutes. I mean, we could skip what through. Fuck? But dude, look at this. Minutes? Fifty dis, fifty thousand dislikes, ten thousand likes see like what this is what i've never seen this bro i'm gonna go watch this upstairs oh my <gasps> ah, fiddle sticks who it who is this who is this person who are you who are you? Who is this? Who is this person? Pe Penguins Zero. Who is this person? Who is you? This person thought it would be cute to sit down on the computer and talk about my weight and my appearances and to fixate on how I look. As if I don't have the right to exist because I happen to be, because I happen to be a little overweight. Because I happen to have a little water weight. Because I happen to be a little fluffy.
Is he like uh, joking? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That is he that, joking? That ain't water weight. Just, <laughs> bro, just saying that. That's but, not water weight. I mean, we know, but like, and it's like if we didn't see the before and afters, maybe we'd just be like, all right, this guy's just like this. Yeah. Like, but the fact that he's gained that much weight strictly because of these videos, like, you know. But is this guy joking though? Like, is this like a joke? Honestly, don't know. It might. This is an unfluffy oh. person. Unfluffy! You unfluffy individual! Who is this? Who is this? Who is this person? I don't even. I didn't even know who this was until I was taking a nap and my phone goes ring, ling, 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 ling. I'm being a for my weight, for my appearance. Apparently, I'm encouraging people to eat unwell. Excuse me! Excuse me! Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just... Right. Yeah, I don't know about no cameo, my boy. Bro, <laughs> you, be, you, be, you do cameos for free. <laughs> what is that for you. Oh, Treat okay. yourself or right. surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. <laughs> So, because I happen to be overweight, and you don't know the reasons why, you don't know my blood panels, you don't know my, you don't know anything about me, that gives you license to depict the way I look. And I watch a little bit of this video. We're gonna we're gonna react to this whole video, actually. Who is this person? He said something about me being vegan. Oh, look, he was so skinny, and he showed photos of me when I had just rotted a tooth out of my face, had to get surgery, what had such low iron levels that I was anemic, that I had low the that I had brain issues. I had where he's like, oh, look at him, he's fat. No mentioning to his eight million followers. By the way, don't send him, don't send him things about his appearance. Don't send his mental health into a dark space which is happening now thanks to him full of lies we're gonna we're gonna <sighs> who is this person well, i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna address all of this you know i stay in my lane i i don't i don't pick on other youtubers i don't make content off of other people like that i might shout someone out or get inspired by them like my matt stoney videos or stuff like that but i don't sit and make content like that to try to scare people that I'm somehow away, which I've never said. All this sensationalism, I just, uh, he, he's about to hear from me. I'm angry, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. Who is this person? This is just mind boggling to me. Who is this? Who are you? And then we go to my page and we look at all the newest comments under my newest video. This person doesn't deserve to have a channel. Okay, so because I overeat sometimes and happen to be a little fluffy, I don't deserve. Do, do we live in There's no free speech anymore. Okay, where the health is relative. I'm overweight, so I can't eat. Well, what if I'm underweight? What if I'm perfect weight, but I have bad organs? Sometimes, sometimes illnesses are invisible. <sighs> this person's disgusting, fat pig. I can smell you from here. You should die sooner. Get this over with. Wow, can't stop your views. You don't care about anyone, but then again, you've never loved anyone. Clearly, you don't love yourself. Who's here from Penguins? Fat slob. Looks like a fat Grinch. Like, part of me, like, I don't... Uh, I, like, I feel, like, a, a little bad because he probably just got so many hate comments. Oh, yeah, no, 100% from that type of uh, exposure, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, like, that video got 8 million views. But, but the thing is, he's just basing his his argument over one thing that isn't even true like penguins didn't it wasn't like saying like that wasn't like the whole basis of the shit it's just like dude like you should, probably shouldn't be doing this for your own health i think but he's like grabbing onto that like and yeah. he's just using that and then he's like yelling following. like who is this like it's like dude that <laughs> that motherfucker has like 10 million followers, yeah. bro. You can't. Nah. You can't say who is this. Fat Grinch. You're on I mean, this is this is this face. is hateful. This is hateful. And there's tens of thousands of comments on my page now with this type of stuff. And I haven't done anything to anybody. Well, great. Just great. Oh I was having a nice nap, and all of a sudden, my phone goes 
Bing, 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 bing. And I say, it's Nancy. But it wasn't Nancy. It was all of my friends concerned about what this man just put out about me on the computer. And I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and comments. And There's no way he's going to react to this and do a mukbang, bro. If he does that, then he's just... This he's is just proving yeah. penguins are And criticisms. Yeah. And reacting to this nonsense. Apparently, I'm so fat. I'm so fat. I'm about to die. If I was really that fat and sick, could I do that hopscotch dance without getting out of breath? I think not. Do you know my blood work? Have you seen my health results, reports, analysis? You have it. I watched three minutes of this and I'm livid. Anyways, to, I'm actually so self, I'm very self-conscious now because of Penguin that I decided to have a smaller snack tonight. So I'm having normal sized portions. Oh, oh. Oh. French fries. That's it. Oh, wait, no. I mean, oh, that's fine. Soup. Oh. I'm healthy. Cheese, which has calcium. Crackers. Probably want a cracker. One cheeseburger. Just one, one cheeseburger for you, Penguin. Who is this? Who is this even? Who are you? I Never even heard of this person. And chicken nuggets for protein. And this is all I've even had today except vegetable soup. So first I'm gonna have, where's my vitamins? I normally take them, so I'm extra healthy. I take extra vitamins, so I'm extra healthy. They're normally here. They're not here right now. Hey, vitamins too, Let's bro. listen to this. <laughs> like, I'd say, I'd say vitamins too, and I don't mean you're extra healthy. And he said this is a small <laughs> like, portion. Yeah, like, it's like, he got two full bags. He literally has two full bags. You got fries, you have cheese fries, soup, nuggets, and a burger. I mean, dude, that's a... Good fucking big ass meal, yeah. bro. That's that's like oh, most people probably just couldn't eat this whole thing. Looks good oh, though. Dudes on the internet, how badly do you want to suckle from that juicy? <laughs> you are disrespectful. Of Dis internet. Wait, what word did he say? Did he just say disrespectful? You are disrespectful. Oh shit, dude, the, the wing stops here. You trying to- Oh shit. Let's go. A mukbang We're watching a this. Oh, watching this. Oh, brother. Oh, the brother. <laughs> Got some cheese fries. Ooh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck. All right, a little cheese mm. fries. A little cheese fry action. And All right, well, he better have put fucking ranch in this bitch. There's another bag. Another box. Oh, there is ranch. And another order of cheese fries. I feel like he just wanted those. Pulse Actually the crazy. Condo. <laughs> what, what is this script, bro? <laughs> this is, no this is literally scripted. <laughs> Let's go. Of internet specific clubs. good job i've actually started Love quite you, a few videos with that exact same question it seems that today the most one point one point five because i have things to do like eat people is the numbers on the screen bigger number better person everyone's so desperate to squeeze as much milk as possible from those beautiful oh oh let's look at his thumbnail uh, shall we let's see what he's trying to achieve with my face like this, and a title like this. This YouTuber is slowly killing himself for views. So, are you trying to pl play the high and mighty game all on your pedestal? That you're not trying to squeeze something out of something? Yes, let's sensationalize things shit. about me at my expense. <laughs> I don't even know who you, you are. You don't need to squeeze shit. I mean, bro. This is just like hours. Like a lie, bro? That's kind of facts. What do you mean? Bro. 
He, bro, he just made a whole thumbnail and title like, yo, this YouTuber slowly dying. Yeah, but like, he doesn't got milk shit though. Like, penguins is literally like, like, chat. For people who know penguins, bro, like, he is. You're, yo, you're, you're kind of riding right now. Bro. I'm rock. Right. You're kind of riding. Here we go. Oh fucking <laughs> Uh, a pretty special oh, case. It's, it's someone that I'm sure you've heard of. I've talked about it before. A lot of people have. He's been a big name on YouTube for a while. His name's Nakato Avocado. If you're like... That's not my name. If you're gonna make a video about me, address me by what I is. My name is Nick Okado Avocado. I identify as skinny. And I broke three ribs. That's all you need to know right now for context. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my s out of here for a second and let Nakato Avocado kind of take it away. This is from his most recent video. This is kind of what his content has become. I wouldn't have become disabled if it weren't for- I had a hairball. I had a hairball. These videos. I had a- Stop! I had a hairball. That's not what the premise of these videos have been about. It's about recovering. Recovering. This is the $6, this is the $10. Ouch! My ribs! Mm. How many months are we gonna have to endure this pain? All right, let's go for this. Ooh. This definitely looks cheesier. But this one i really don't want to watch myself now to anyone that's familiar with this creator you'll probably think that this is nothing special this just this looks like, like every other rap. video he's ever made just with less crying you've probably even seen nakato avocado around other parts of the internet if you don't even know who he is you've probably seen some of his clips he usually will eat something and then just start breaking down into tears and crying about something he's notorious for constantly crying so then why did i decide this video and these clips to show you well as you can tell from the title of that video he now claims to be a disabled person which i'll get into in a minute first of all this whole disabled this is wrong type of thing there's such thing as called temporarily disabled. My father was temporarily disabled for five years. My brother was temporarily disabled when he had surgery. My other bro brother was disabled when he had a skiing accident. Plenty of people are this disabled is, from bones, disabled. from joints. You, uh, I mean, the list goes on. You're injured. And am I making fun of people who are born that way or developing a condition? It's irrelevant hmm. whether you have it for a year or 10 years or you're born that way or you grow into to that in old age at the end of the day i'm no longer able to do things that i had been once able or could or should have been able to do am i making fun of anyone else am i actually calling out disabled people and <laughs> them unlike him targeting me and making videos specifically about me have i said anything to anyone about anyone else no yet everyone draws everyone wants to be like ah oh, well, my grandmother or my best friend's mother's sister's mother's friends is disabled and she was born that way. So therefore you're making fun of her. It's like, no, I'm not. You're drawing that conclusion because you're looking to start problems. What is he known for? Sitting and talking about others. You sit and talk and eat. What the fuck? I mean, but yo, but it's not about other people though. Uh, but like he just like like all right but like he's sitting and talking though like he's is he not chat like he's talking eating he's all, all the only difference is just eating yeah but mm. yo penguins made a whole video about him with the thumbnail bro what you got against penguin hold up bro <laughs> what you got against penguin hold i don't up. got shit against him bro i'm just I'm being neutral. I'm not, you know, I, there's no nostalgia behind it. You probably love him. Uh, he, he's, he's fire, but like... Most defending his own kind? <laughs> that's crazy. gotta that's, be racist. That's, that's actually crazy. That's actually... That's gotta be racist, bro. There's no way you're saying Los is kind. I'm not fucking riding, bro. Dude, the, the thing that pisses me off is just like, he, he, like, the way he's marketing himself on his YouTube channel and like, I, I explained this, like, I think last weekend. Like, how I'm, like, a big mental health advocate and everything. Mm -hmm. And, like, the like I ju I'm just pissed that he's literally doing that for views. For content. 
That's fucked. That is so fucked. Oh, dude, and he's marketing it kind of good too, like all the t-shirts and shit. I mean, it will get clicks and shit, but like, like people are gonna just, actually buy that shit. Yeah, people will buy that shit, but it's like, is that morally correct? No, probably not. One hundred percent not. And it's just like, I, I just don't Mods, get how people operate how is, that. How is this guy not getting timed out? <laughs> Mods, bro. <laughs> Why the... do you suck, bro? <laughs> Pause on that fucking lunch break at, at 10 p.m. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's yeah. play this shit. This is effort in quite some time while undergoing some kind of exorcism. And shit me. Excuse you. Who are you? Who are you? I have it said anything that you're revolting and you're disgusting do you realize the amount of i woke up to do you realize the amount of all over my page by the way by the way we're only in this video for like a couple of minutes he didn't ask his millions of followers don't correct him don't make fun of his appearance don't make his mental health upset D send him some support for nothing Nothing. Myself. That's usually a comment. Occur okay. When does she say he's been doing YouTube for like 10 years? You you don't know to do that? Hey, listen, I'm not picking sides, but that is fact. Yeah, that is fact, yeah. Because we watched the whole video. He didn't say that. And like, I could easily see like a, a like a younger kid just going to this guy's page and being like, oh, you fat fuck, die oh, yeah. or something. You know what I mean? This is the way in it works, bro. Like, fucking anyone can say anything under uh, an alias. Yeah. Like he should have said not to do that. I, I don't know. And then why it's like, dude, if he if he really cared, I'm not saying I'm not saying he didn't care, but if you really cared about him and want him to get better, he could have been like, you know, go over to his page and like, you know, encourage him to not do this yeah. or something. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But he didn't do that. But Smart. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that the dude did something bad. I'm just saying he didn't mention that. When you're speaking about other people in a in a degrading way that they're revolting and disgusting, <laughs> that by the way, I'm asking all my followers not to go send them off the. <laughs> <sighs> all just selfish. All just thinking about himself. What about me Beverly is cute. and my feelings? Huh? That's just the common Bro, courtesy what thing the to do. Fuck is, dude, I hate when people say, oh, bomb, nuke. Fucking say what it is. <laughs> like, now I have to go find. Was it in the chat? Was this a tweet? Is this a thing? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? And if this is some dumb, if this is some dumb shit, bro, I'm about to ban mad people, bro. <laughs> in the chat. There's a in the chat. In the chat. So it was a bomb. Okay. It's a bomb in the chat. Chat logs. It's a bomb. Okay, no, no, no. They're saying it's a bomb. Okay. This is a bomb. What is... <laughs> I don't know what. I think you put a space. Yeah. It's like, not it? You not type user, right? Yeah, and then... <clears throat> All right, there we go. All right, let's see the bomb that people spam for five minutes about. <laughs> I would slap the shit out of Lowe's. <laughs> All right, Flax can hold this fucking hour. <laughs> oh, shit, balls. Yeah, he can GG. hold that hour, bro. Free. Free my mans. He said it's your fault. It is your fault that I'm even having yeah, to <laughs> address this mess. Look at my page. You sent 20,000 people oh, like that to thumbs down my content. And everyone's t emailing my my manager. People are contacting my network. He's dying. He's dying. He's so fat he broke his ribs. You don't even. You're spreading false information. I didn't break my ribs from being fat. And we're gonna get into this. I would Listen. Hope. 
I have more to say. For encouraging Wait, it. Then he's absolutely what? right. So how do you break Nicado it? Avocado and Avocado didn't oh, yeah. start as this right channel. Right there, what? Even Explain four it. years ago, 2017, so four years ago now, he was a very healthy person. This is what he used to look like in 2017. He seemed to be pretty mentally, you know, sound. He wasn't breaking down on camera all the time and going wild and crazy from what I remember. He was even extremely good at an instrument. I think it was the violin, if I remember correctly. He was... What? was extremely good or still is extremely good. Why did he zoom out? Yeah. Why are we going to cut hands? And that's also just not even good. First of all, who are you to say that I was healthy because I was skinny? Does skinny equal healthy? Yes or no? Can you... Look at a person and say, oh, you're thin. Therefore, you must be healthy. You I mean, dude, look at Savoli. This motherfucker's dying, bro. <laughs> you don't know what my blood work looks like. You don't know what my organ looks like. Let me tell you something. I'll never do it, little fucking buddy. I might have been skinny, <laughs> but I lost a tooth. I leached calcium from my bones. I had bad health because I was deficient in various nutrients on vegan diets that nearly sent me to the hospital. <laughs> And I had problems with my liver. I had iron deficiency. I was supplementing B12 and couldn't retain it. And I had to get injections in my butt. And I had a low libido. Oh. But because I was thin, you you have the authority to let everyone know that I was perfectly healthy. I was very healthy. And now he's destroyed his body. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. My cousin got so sick that he passed away in his sleep and his blood work was picture perfect even if i had a blood panel to show you that's not the full depiction that's not the full truth of what's happening internally with your organs with all the other things going on and you have no no authority to be telling everyone that i was once healthy and glowing and happy. You don't even know the first thing. And then to say that I used to play violin good, are you trying to shit me and my violin skills now? He was vegan. He was just preaching some really positive stuff. But then he started... Is he vegan? Oh my god, that would explain everything. Is Penguins Zeros vegan? Alexa! What do you mean? He was preaching good stuff. You don't even know what I said. What I... I started to notice that the videos that gained a lot of traction were videos where he was just gluttonous and eating a million calories per sitting. So he stuck with it. And now he has a couple of channels where he does this pretty much every day, and it's been like this for the last four or so years. This is what he used to look like in 2017, and then when the videos really started to gain traction, he gained over 200 pounds. <clears throat> Let's pause on these videos. This video, I was on the orange juice fast. And I was so underweight, so underweight, that I had to go to the hospital on an IV. This photo here, you can see every bone in my body. I'm smiling, I'm skinny, but this shallow individual, apparently that's all that matters. And that means that since I've gained a little extra weight, I might be a little bit fluffy. But that means that he needs to circle around and be like, well, he's so fat, he's dying, he's dying. Did I have... Fanta! Fanta. Fanta. I'm matching every gifted sub to 25k for him to get an Arby's tattoo on his ass. That is actual fucking collision. Let's fucking go! Uh, we will Fanta. go to a fucking tattoo parlor tomorrow. <laughs> no, Fanta, don't gift. Stop. Please stop. Let's go. <laughs> I don't want to. Never say I was done. <laughs> Did anyone else say that? Oh. What? Who? Uh, my doctor. I fucking my dietitian. love dietitian. I have a dietitian looking after me, mister. You don't know what I do off camera. Get my. You really don't. In the last couple of years. And it's absolutely true. It's the audience's fault for this. They created what Nakado Avocado has become. Obviously, it's not all their fault. He is making the conscious decisions to completely throw away his health and well-being, which has now led to his disability, which he claims to have. Again, Miss, misinformation. Mi 
Bro. Oh, not nah, hookers. Bro. Are hookers and fans not literally boys? I don't, they're, they're, with them, there's definitely some type of little collusion going on there. There's definitely like, a collusion, bro. Like, they're definitely talking right now, like, yo, let's drop these bombs right now. I need to see an ass to <laughs> Like, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to fucking tat on my ass. <laughs> Let's spam these fucking W's in the chat. I owe a hundred gifted subs. Keep track. No, I owe one fifty actually because of the other guy. We waiting for yours, a little bro. I owe one hundred and fifty. <laughs> Guys, hold on. I'm I'm eating, dude. Let me. I'm on my avocado shit, bro. Let me eat, and then I'm and then we'll get to the gifted. <laughs> um, Haran. 110 gifted. Oh, no. Wait, I owe 210 gifted. My fault. Fuck, bro. I owe 210 gifted. Keep keep checking that. There's so many things to say. First of all, he's saying that my disability is because of my diet. First of all, the reason I'm even in this bed is because I broke three ribs. I broke three ribs because I was having very aggressive coughing for three months straight. And why did the coughing happen? Because I got the beep, beep, beep. And that was my dormant immune system reaction. I had an autoimmune disease that was dormant since I was a child. Something I have lived with my whole life. Before I was vegan. What? Before I was doing mukbangs. What? That is my predisposition. You don't, you didn't even watch the videos. You're judging me on my weight saying. and saying, ah, he has a broken rib. It must be because he's, he's fat. You are... I feel so, I feel used. I mean, at my expense, this is now his content. At my expense and spreading stigma around being overweight. There are people, there are people, I have some friends, let me tell you, who are overweight. Maybe not as fluffy as me, but a little bit overweight or even a lot of bit of overweight and their blood work is perfect. Now, as I just said, you can have great blood work and be unhealthy, but you can also be healthy and unhealthy with bad blood work. It goes both ways. What? It's a medical mystery. They're indications to help you, but they're not the all and be all, as I was trying I to mean. explain to you. He claims not to have three broken accurate. ribs, which Listen, is a I'm not I'm not just not gonna lie, bro. I'm just not gonna take this guy's health advice. You know what I mean? And you could get you could be like, oh you're I'm just not listening. I'm gonna listen to my doctors. I'm gonna listen to my mom who's also a doctor. Right? Yeah, always go to your fucking doctor. Yeah, I'm listening to them. I'm not listening to Avocado, and neither should any of you. Okay? Yeah. There's no medical mystery behind this. Attributed to his incredible weight gain. Incredible being the wrong word. Really just astonishingly upsetting. Uh, you're going to tell 8 million people that I broke my rims from being fat. Well, great. Great. Let me tell you something. Just ask a qualified, educated person in this field, and they'll tell you that broken ribs affects tens of millions of people every year just in this country alone. My sister got broken ribs from pregnancy. I know someone who broke his ribs from sneezing too hard. People break their Rudy. ribs from falling down the stairs. People break oh. their ribs from a car crash. People break their ribs from coughing excessively. And they could be... My brother broke one rib when I was only seven years old. And guess what he got it from? Coughing excessively. Violently coughing. Bronchitis can give it to you. Pneumonia can give you broken ribs. Just tripping and falling can give you a rib. Has nothing to do with weight. Plenty of thin people. And by the way, my brother was like 150 pounds when he broke his rib, which was on the right side. And But no, it's because I'm fat. Before I got tested and got my x-rays, I said, oh, jeepers. Maybe it's a little floppy, kind of push something. No, nope, because the bone broke outwards, not inwards, which means it was the force was coming from within the lungs. I've been coughing excessively for three months because of my autoimmune reaction. Spreading misinformation and now guess who has to clean up all the pieces and sit here and have my I have my phone on silent It has been blowing up for hours of people calling me fat of people saying that I'm dumb. People saying oh my gosh, you're eating yourself. I 
barely finish my food in my videos. I barely finish my food. If I was really that so d I wouldn't have been able to do those jumping jacks in the beginning of this video. That is kind of true. Wait, does he does he eat all the food? Well, like you like in that penguins vid, he said like penguins said like yeah like he, fin he mostly finishes his food or close to it. Yeah. In that video, he was still on the first box. Yeah, like I didn't like maybe maybe we could check this actually. Yeah, where was that? P yeah, that one. Ouch! My tooth. Trick. Thank you, Tony Horton. Teach me how to squeeze. Then go to there. Bad. It's less than two. No, he did not fit it. He ate these. Wait, yeah, go back. Wait, what? When they're all open. Alright, so he finished a pizza. I don't think he finished any of these, bro. You know that that might be it. Oh God, I can't get up. This is your fault. It's your fault. Uh, uh, I can't get. Ooh, not great. Oh, uh, ouch. Now I have grease. Oh, my head this headboard cost me $5,000. It's your fault. Ow. Ouch. What? <coughs> oh. Ow. Ow. But he literally the shirt. It's ouch. your fault. Wait, what the fuck? People just buy his shit. No one knows their... Well, that just ruined my appetite, to be honest with you. Ruined it for all. I guess the ne I think I'll just finish with another. I like how I complained about this one. And I'm allergic to this one, too. Oh. Well, but sometimes in life, you just want allergic to. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Over on saying, Patreon, yeah. you'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown-up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only, and new openings become available on a first-come, first-served basis. I just don't get it, bro. I don't get you... it. Should we watch like this guy's response now? Did he respond? Did Penguins respond? Yeah. And I, and I, oh, he did. And I, was... I turned it on. And I said, yeah. There we go. Camera while eating. Oh, shit. Nikano Avocado has set a new world record for YouTuber response time for drama. This was a pretty impressive speed run. Within a few hours of my video being up, he had his entire response filmed and then posted this morning. So, very impressive speed there. And there's a few things I want to talk about, so let's just go ahead and dive in. Dude, this First is actually an avocado shit right now. Look at the front door. <laughs> the other thing I ordered is at the front door, bro. <laughs> Dude, I'll be right back. This is, dude, the this is irony, actually, This bro. is actually bad. Yeah, this is actually I mean, bad. I didn't really want we, this. We didn't fucking like, finish this. We didn't yeah. even finish that, let alone. <laughs> we didn't even finish this shit. Oh. Step on Greek neck. Light snack. Yeah, this is Give me a wing, bro. W script on oh God. <laughs> Bad acting. <laughs> you good? You're one thirty. I'm not one thirty. I'm like one sixty. I don't know about my height though. He might be taller than me, low key, and that, that that's kind of bad. NJ acting. Oh god though. <laughs> if you're 160, you're like 5'8. I'm 5'10, bro. 
It literally says it on my license. Wear heels. No, you aren't. All right. You know what? I guess back at some point, we have, we have to do, like, actually compare, like, because, like, I don't know now. Like, I, I'm, I, I actually have no idea. You're not closest in color, bro. Moving mad federal. Hags. Do I got any more shit in here? You're pushing 40. Like, I'm not... Dude. What What is this joke of me being old? Get drunk. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to, bro. What time is it? It's about to be 11. Fuck. I mean, her claw. You look like... Tyler Blevins. You just write down your height at the DMV. Yeah, but, like, I kept that shit truthful. Like, you know, like, from what I got from the doctors. Like, I'm not going to the DMV. I'm like, yeah, I'm six foot five when I'm not. Like, clearly, I'm not fucking six foot five. I wish I was, though. The irony right now play. is out of this world. Yeah. Los Palos Avocado. Hash TQG next up. I've never been more grossed out by food before. Well, what is this? I, I need to... They just left that. That was the only thing they left. No, so. like, dude, there was, like, so many orders of shit in there. And I was like, dude, I don't want any of this. It's the <laughs> only thing I wanted. Because we were talking about this earlier. And there's something in here, too, for you. Oh, shit. Grilled cheese? Oh. With a pickle. With a pickle? Yeah, you can take the pickle. Oh, fuck. And waffle fries. Oh, waffle fries are fine. Yeah, just grab, take the pickle. And the, yeah. You, get, you want that one? Take that one. Like, chat, that tastes pickle? good as fuck. Yeah, take no. take that. Do you want that? Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, take that. Um, and then also waffle fries. I don't know, but uh, cheers. Cheers to that. The grilled cheese and the pickle. Man, I will literally, literally eat this thing raw, bro. That's a fucking good grilled cheese, bro. The fuck? Oh shit! That's good as fuck. Yeah, that's grilled cheese. God damn. Where's the pickle? I want to play it. I'm not eating a pickle. <laughs> Where is that fucking pickle? <laughs> Wickle, oh god. That's a fire. First of all, it's entirely in character. It's kind of like in the Suicide Squad movie where Jared Leto was constantly being the Joker even offset, so he was sending his co-stars like used condoms and dead pig carcasses. That's kind of what Nakato Avocado has done. He is constantly playing his character. He has become the Joker of mukbangs. He is never out of character anymore, it seems. So this response is not him being genuine or taking it seriously. It's him playing his character and completely misunderstanding what I was saying in my video. He spends the majority of the 41 minutes of this response video eating because he does a mukbang during it and asking, who is this? Who are you? Does anyone know this person? If I had a dollar for every time he asked, who is this? I would have enough money to afford 1500 pizzas and do my own fucking nutty mukbang. I never really understood that perspective of this person's not famous enough for me to care, therefore everything they say is worthless. He makes it sound like because he doesn't know who I am, everything I've said is completely irrelevant. And it's fine that he doesn't know anything about me. I expect that. I'm a fucking YouTuber. I'm an actual Z-lister, an internet content creator. I don't expect to go into a room and all of a sudden everything goes quiet as people drop champagne glasses that shatter on the floor because they're just blown away by my presence. Like, oh my god, you know who that is? Ball. That's Charles <laughs> White. Did you see his news video? That, listen, listen, why does there have to be a joke like this, okay? Listen, I can't control that this happens. <laughs> deal where he's holding a rubber pee what first of all what was that tweet about you walked into the club and they started they they went on the bike oh, yeah, like, that, that was oh my nice. god that's savoli that was fast 
I actually have him. And then he I got shots fired about the bar and we got Got a flashlight? Holy oh. shit, that's called <laughs> white. I don't expect that. So I just don't really get why that's like one of the main things he keeps reiterating in this video is he doesn't know who I am. I, I don't know why that's such a strong point. Like, I don't know who this is. Do you know who this is? This guy's just so fucking, yeah, you know, not like famous. <laughs> ugh, ugh, gross. Not famous guy. Who is this? <laughs> but anyway, aside from him constantly mentioning that, there are some things that he does bring up that I think are definitely worth talking about. But first of all, I'd like to say congratulations to Nick. It looks like his broken ribs are healing pretty well because he starts this video by stomping into the room. And I also checked his TikTok. He's been going kind of hard, so it looks like his broken ribs seem to be doing better now. Shivers. Ah! Ah! Fiddlesticks! He was stomping around. Who it? Who is this? my mom broke a couple what? of her ribs she genuinely what? couldn't walk for like a month she was miserable but luckily feels. nick seems to be healing at an accelerated rate he must be like wolverine from the x-men so that's good to see in regards to his broken ribs in his response video he said i was completely lying and that his broken ribs had nothing to do with weight gain which surprised me because i actually got that information from one of his recent videos i'll just go ahead and play the clip and before you make fun of me, please try to put yourself in my shoes. I cracked my ribs. <laughs> bitch. Fuck this fucking air sac from coughing excessively for over two and a half months and my obesity all through. I want to see the date on that. What? The date's September 22nd, 2021. Yeah. So, this is fake. What's fake? He didn't actually break his ribs. There's just no way. Like, dude, the, the video, what is it today? October 3rd? So his he, his ribs healed in... Less than Like, weeks. less than two weeks? Less than two weeks, yeah. That's... Okay. Let's hear what he says, though. I want to hear if he actually said this. Because if he did, then, then this dude lied. <laughs> Fuck this fucking air sack from... Coughing excessively for over two and a half months and my obesity all 350 pounds of force Hey, mom <coughs> Ouch I didn't reach into my butthole and pull this out of nowhere I got the information from him so I don't understand why in his response video He makes it sound like I'm lying about so many things it, like he himself said his cracked ribs were the result of coughing for the last two months and his obesity, 350 pounds of pressure or whatever he said there. I didn't make that claim. I didn't make that up. It came from him. And you can just click on this video and it's right in the intro. So I don't know why he would say something like that in the response video. It also doesn't really sit right to me that in this response video he puts multiple advertisements for like going to his Patreon and stuff like that. It just shows that he doesn't really take any of it seriously. It feels like this response was just made to capitalize off drama clicks. Like, you know, I, I just feel like he's never serious anymore. It's always in this act, in this character. You know, you know, I might as well plug something too, since I'm responding to it. Make sure you check out my second channel, Huge Charles, where I'm posting short content and exclusive shit over there. The link will be in the description below. That's Huge Charles, baby. But anyway, now to actually talk about the things Nick brings up that I think are very important to talk about. First of all, he talks about the people that went from my video to his to just be assholes. I always openly condemn this and I should have again said don't go harass him because it looks like people need a constant fucking reminder to not fucking harass people. You're not some kind of internet vigilante fighting for justice. That angry comment you left on Nick's video isn't going to help him. You're just being a fucking douchebag. And that's, I completely sincerely apologize for overlooking the fact that I need to remind people how to behave online. I always hate, absolutely fucking hate. I've made two different videos on how much I hate when people go and harass people. But just from like YouTube videos and shit. It sucks. It fucking sucks. 100%. And Nick is absolutely in the right in calling that out. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's actually get into the fucking meat here and talk about some of the things Nick brings up. It's clear immediately that Nick misunderstood what I was saying in my video. I don't know if that's on purpose just for the sake of having like an aggressive response video for YouTube drama or if he genuinely didn't understand what I was trying to say. 
but he makes it clear that he didn't get what I was going for right away. I don't have the right to exist because I happen to be, because I happen to be a little overweight. I'm being attacked for my weight, for my appearance. Apparently, I'm encouraging people to eat unwell. Excuse me! I don't even understand at all where that last thing came from. I never made any point like that or even hinted at anything like that. I never said, like, Nakato Avocado is a role model and he's encouraging people to eat like he does on camera. You know, I never said, like, you know, these kids are going to watch Nakato Avocado and then all of a sudden they're going to be fucking brainwashed by him. They're going to go out there and order ten large fries and then a gravy to drink out of a toilet bowl. You know, I never said anything like that. I never said that he's setting some kind of example for people to follow. Uh, all I was saying is the success he found with mukbangs has reinforced his decision to eat this way. I was also never focusing on his appearance or saying he doesn't have the right to live because he's overweight. I, I don't know where these are coming from. As far as appearance goes, him, me showing his 2017 body compared to his most recent one was used to show what the food is doing to him. If he was skinny and eating the way he does on camera, I would have the exact same criticisms. Because even when you're skinny, you can be very unhealthy, which is a point he makes. I wasn't saying skinny is the gold standard. He also brings up some demons from his past that I didn't know about. I, I didn't get the full extended lore of Nakato Avocado. I was under the assumption that he was healthier back then because contrary to what he says in the video, I am very familiar with him. I've watched his content for a while. I've watched the transformation, but apparently I've missed- Hey, do you think he would have made this video if, if this guy didn't gain 200 pounds? Because the whole, uh... the whole video is you, you click on the video, it's a big obese guy. Yeah. So it's like, and he's like, this, this, this YouTuber's killing himself. It's like, dude, he wouldn't have made this video, bro. Only one person said this. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't think he would have. I don't think it would have oh, been like oh, on the radar. Everyone that goes no, and then one guy goes los. You're slow as fuck. <laughs> like, like what the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck did I? <laughs> dude, you got no. Seriously, you're really something's wrong with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sony's really wrong with you, bro. Look at Matt Stoney. But, bro, Matt Stoney does, like... I don't even understand how, like, but he But Matt operates. Stoney is not daily uploading. I follow him. No, it's him. true. Yeah, he doesn't daily upload. He makes, like, one video a month, maybe. Yeah, and he does, like, co competitions and shit, like, very rarely now. Because of, like, the YouTube shit, so... He works out. Uh, for what he, like, I mean, doing one shit like that is not gonna do anything to you, but doing it every day, it will. Oh yeah, no, a hundred percent. Hey, could you help me with my? You're little not burning all those calories. Oh some yeah. Diapers, please. Hey, Lewis, could you help me with my little girl and getting her a crib and some diapers, please? <laughs> I don't want to say this in like a rude way. Like I'm not gonna be like, no, but dude, like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> How are you going to ask me to provide for your child right now? Help him? <laughs> Help him out? Help a brother out? Dude, why would you <laughs> sub to me right now? <laughs> why would you sub? You just resubbed. Bro. Literally, get your money back and buy a fucking diaper. <laughs> You think I'm gonna be a Twitch stream subbing to people if I can't fucking buy diapers <laughs> for my ch fucking child? Wait, how much is this? The fuck is the matter with you, <laughs> bro? Seventy five, like you, you were subscribed subscribe for eight months, eighteen months. Eighteen months. You know how many bro, diapers that diapers. is? Hella diapers, bro. When I dressed up as a baby for Halloween and I walked around in a diaper, bro, like. That shit was like five bucks. Bro, that's at least half a crib. 18 months. Like. Nah, chat. Do not sub or, or donate to me if you need money. It's like, dude, I had a guy donate me like three times asking me for money. I'm like, dude, you just spent $15. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you have a video of it? What? <laughs> you have an actual diaper on! <laughs> oh no, you're literally something's can, wrong with can you. Can I dude. show that? Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> 
bro. <laughs> Some some arcs along the way in his anime. He mentioned back during those days with the photos I showed, he had an eating disorder, even mentioned a tooth rotting out, and that he generally didn't feel like he was healthy back then. And that's, I didn't know any of those things. What I saw on camera was him eating healthy food, preaching about healthy food options and lifestyles, as well as fitness and stuff like that. So I was under the impression that he was healthy during those days, but maybe he wasn't. But he's also not healthy now. I'm not Nick's dad. I'm not here to slap the fucking cheeseburgers out of his hand or anything. I showed these Lost photos because it shows like a complete transformation a from one body type means. to another, and it shows that there is still an eating disorder present. And I feel like it's reinforced by his audience on YouTube that encourage it, which is something he mentions in his videos some, from time to time. He says things like, you guys are doing this. It's and your, I think he's dude, right. He whole I think seeing yeah, those numbers shirt. grow and seeing those big ball. numbers has completely reinforced <laughs> the idea that in order to be successful, he has to keep eating this way, so he feels trapped to do it. I, that's the point I was making. It is a very unhealthy lifestyle. It doesn't have to do with his weight or his appearance. It has to do with what he's eating on camera and how often he's doing it. Take, for example, Matt Stoney. Matt Stoney will do these incredible food challenges. He'll eat fucking 20,000, 30, 40,000 calorie meals in a single sitting in under an hour for the for a YouTube video, and they're fucking awesome. That's nuts to butts action. Matt Stoney eating the fuck out of 20 burritos at a time, double fisting a thousand tacos per hand. It's incredible stuff. And it's so much food and so many calories, but Matt Stoney does that once every few weeks, once a month maybe. Nakato Avocado yeah. is doing something comparable almost every single day. Over the last week or so, he's posted a mukbang every single day pretty much. So he's eating these thousands and thousands of calories every day. It's very different, the frequency is completely different. Or let me rephrase this, it seems like he does it almost every day since he is posting them almost every day. Now I do know, at least on a few occasions, he's done multiple mukbangs in one day. And that's still a lot, that's still a ton. So the point is, it's very different. I'm not targeting Nakato Avocado because of his weight or anything. I was talking about him in this whole situation because it feels like his audience has reinforced his eating disorder, which is taking a negative effect on his overall health. Dude, if Nakato Avocado... have you watched the entire Squid Games? I haven't watched it. I watched one episode. So, I don't know what this is, but they're saying do a red light, green light at 30k subs. What does that mean? <laughs> like, what the... Oh, what does that mean? Like, don't I don't spoil. want a spoiler, but like, bro, what does that mean? Dude, I mean, I don't know, chat. Is that TOS, chat? Yeah. <laughs> but what they do in the show? They literally fucking... Chat, I, I, listen, this isn't a spoiler. It's just explaining the game. And also, it's the first episode, so you like... You Red Light, Green Light? Well, like, that one episode. It's the first episode. Oh. And... Literally, I missed the first episode. So literally this bot. It was like red light. It's like red light, green light. But if you move during red light. Yeah. You get, uh, it's over. You get killed? Yeah, it's over. Just well, how would we even play that game? <laughs> like, like, they're fucking psychotic. Like you really want us to die on camera? <laughs> L spoiler. That's not a fucking spoiler. It's literally not a spoiler. <laughs> That's just me explaining A spoiler the game. would be like, dude. The girl that you first see, dude, at the end of the no, Chad, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Roblox, so you got a Roblox. Find success on YouTube and be known Roblox. for eating such massive <laughs> meals, he would not have gained the 200 pounds in three or so years. Gaining that much weight in that amount of time is not healthy by anyone's standards, no matter what doctor or what website you check. It is extremely rapid weight gain, and I don't think it would have happened had he not found success uh, with this kind of mukbanging content on YouTube. He would probably not eat like this. And like I said, if he was skinny and still doing this exact content the exact same way, my criticisms would remain exactly the same. It is an unhealthy diet and an unhealthy lifestyle. Yeah, I don't know why people think now that they can just spoil shit. Like, this is like a troll now. Where people will spoil any popular movies or shows. And it's like... That is like one of the worst things you can do as a human being. In my opinion. Oh, easily. Because you're literally ruining... Somebody's entire fucking experience of something. Just for no reason. You're just being an asshole. <laughs> and there's no way to get it back. Like, if I told you... Did you see Breaking Bad? Yeah, well... No, but... 
No, no, dude. You know it's crazy. You know bro, what's crazy than that? What the fuck, bro? I still haven't even seen all of Endgame. What? <laughs> what? How the fuck is that possible? And you know what's crazy? I don't know what happens. I, I, I have no idea what happens. Like genuinely, like on everything on God, I don't know what happens. Psycho. I know. I, 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 dude. I don't watch movies like that. I need to. I'm, I'm lazy. I fucking watch YouTube videos of fucking Yu-Gi-Oh in like Japanese subtitles. No, dude. The in, fact that you haven't seen Japanese Endgame and it's been out for literally two years. That could be the laziest thing I've ever oh, heard yeah. in my life. Dude, it's bad. Like, you it have no bad. problem going out every night drinking, but it hasn't occurred to you maybe, you know what? I'm going to take off one night and finish Endgame. <laughs> I'm going to not drink the whole night and just take a little bit of time to just watch this. <laughs> I don't know what happens. I literally don't know what happens. So, so be honest, you just never saw, saw Endgame? No. Like, I saw it the first 20 minutes. Yeah. And then... I remember it was just like a really like just so tired that day and I just fell asleep. So it was you were tired, went to sleep, and then you never were like, dude, I need to watch that again. I was, but then I was just like, mm, go out drinking at the bar with the boys though. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh my dude, you actually are an alcoholic. <laughs> like Like, do you know that? Dude, like of course. Like, what do you mean, of course? Dude, <laughs> I'm not kidding. You have problems. <laughs> oh, bro. So the Hulk has sex with the, um, what's her name? Come on, no, don't spoil it. Hulk right. has sex. I, 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 I got up to the part where That's Hulk has the glasses. So yeah. you got to the diner scene. Yeah, he but he has the glasses on, and that, and that whole meme of him being uh, an intellect is funny as fuck. <laughs> so you genuinely don't know what happens, no. and nobody spoiled it for you? No. Like I don't know, I I don't know what happens. Like genuinely, like uh, the only thing, the only thing I know at the end that really happens is that that scene, just that fight, like pick everyone that, pops pick up. Pick up that Funko right there. Alright. Yeah, yeah. So. Here's the Funko. All right. Right. There's Iron Man. This is from Endgame. Yeah. Now I want you to look at this. What is what is this? Iron Man. But like, what's he do? What is the scene like? Just fucking ready to throw the Dukes. Like, uh, like I don't know. He's ready to just like rock someone. It looks so like. nothing in this. Like. It looks like he's just about to do it. Look. look. It looks like he's just about to fucking, like, just throw up the dukes. He's ready to go crazy. Look. He's like, yeah, I'm ready to go fuck some shit up. <laughs> I don't believe you. You saw it. No, I did. No, on everything I have it. What's no, I, I actually have w? it. My, I my voice was test. I was studying for it's my bad. finals and got straight A. A. <laughs> no, Chad, I would never spoil anything, bro. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. It, but, fuck, I, I might actually watch it tomorrow. But then, on top of it, you said you never seen Breaking Bad. Nah. I've seen all Walking Dead. You know, you know what's actually bad? I've seen all of Grey's Anatomy before Breaking Bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is wrong with you? And, and Walking Dead on top of it? Bro, Breaking... Walking Dead got ass after, like, three, four seasons? Bro, me and my girl were watching Great Breaking. I mean, not Breaking Meta. Grey's Anatomy. That shit was actually kind of hard. I won't lie to you. I don't care what anybody You're says. You're saying Grey's Anatomy is hard, but you haven't seen Breaking Bad. No. But I, I imagine it's hard too. I never said anything bad about it. All right, can you name like three characters in Breaking Bad? Jesse. Uh, the dude with the glasses. The dude with the glasses. <laughs> The dude with the glasses. <laughs> hey, seven, There's it's no... I think you need to find the back to come that home. Dude. And we yeah, he's, to the, he's the one of the protagonists. I think uh, it's time we check you in a place for drinking. <laughs> Don't forget his your name. blanket at Louis House this time. <laughs> Get him out of there. <laughs> Bro, chat. I Do you understand my whole Twitch name is this, is based oh, off this show? Oh, well, yeah, it's it's one of the places, right? Los Palos Horinos. Okay, so who owns that restaurant? Uh, 
do with the glasses? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. Who the fuck owns that shit? <laughs> Gus? All right, Gus. Yeah. Chat. Yeah. See, I know. I knew. I knew this whole time. <laughs> Have you seen The Sopranos? Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah. I've seen all of Sopranos. If I didn't watch that and I live in New Jersey, I had to get kicked out. Yeah. Like, I've seen all of Sopranos. I got so I watched the new movie that came out. I saw the movie. Is it fire? It's pretty far. Saints of Newark. I have to watch that. Bro. It's not what you think it is. Like it's not like this isn't a spoiler chat, but like it's not like about Tony Soprano. That's not a spoiler. Yeah. But it's gonna be. He, fire. He's just in it. It's so far, I have to watch that. Dude, but chat. Yeah, I haven't seen Breaking Bad. I have to watch that. I've seen an. I, I, dude, I'm obsessed with anime. I won't lie to you. I literally watch anime more than I do regular TV. It's like bad. Like One Piece. Chat, if anyone watches anime and knows One Piece, bro, I don't know how I'm caught up to date with that shit, but. So you've watched 80,000 episodes of an anime. 1,300. Like that, that one show is 1,400 episodes right now, and it's still going. So you've watched 1,400 of an of a anime. And, but and you haven't seen Breaking Bad, like that's literally so disgraceful. I was actually gonna. What, what was that show? What was that show called? Saul. Better call Saul. I actually almost watched that before Breaking Bad. No, bro. I almost. But I didn't get it. First episode I watched, I didn't get it. So I literally turned. I was like, oh. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm watching. Narcos is a good show. I watched Narcos Entourage. Entourage, I love. Fucking fire show. I loved Entourage. I just don't know how I'm watch bring, how much bring that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Bro, like how like how do we like you have to watch it, bro? Like I like I like want you to watch it and then like come on stream reacting to like the ending. Alright, but I mean, Or like I'm down. the whole the whole show. I'm down. I have to I have to watch it, bro. I don't know how how many episodes is it? It's not that many, bro. I think it's like fifty. Breaking bad? I think it's because it's five seasons. Yeah. And and like ten episodes a season maybe. Oh, the sixty two? Yeah, it's like sixty. I, that's not bad at all compared to fucking watching a thousand episodes. All right, every season we'll check in. Like uh, we'll talk about the end yeah. of the season. Yeah. No, this will be a reoccurring thing. We have to. All right, I'm lost. Okay, and no, and nobody spoil it, deadass. Any spoilers? You're getting banned. Simple. All right, let's watch the end of this yeah. real quick and then move on as evident by the 200 pounds he gained which is a lot in a short amount of time and also the amount of times that he is crying on camera and breaking down it seems like overall this content has led him down a path where he is unhealthy and unhappy my focus wasn't look at nick and all of this weight he gained Ewe. it was how has nick completely transformed over the last four years and what role did his content play in that transformation he is completely different now mentally and physically than he was four years ago. Nowadays, he's known for crying all the time on camera while eating. It's become one of his big things, like a staple in his content. He is constantly breaking down and crying while eating, which seems like he's much more unhappy now. And physically, he's completely different. He requires a mobility scooter now when he goes out in public. You'll see it in his TikToks, you'll see it in his videos. When he is at a store, he requires a mobility scooter. So what I was looking at in my video was how his content and his YouTube success played a role in this transformation. Making some of the most revolting noises I've heard in quite some time while undergoing some kind of exorcism. And shit me. Who are you? I haven't said anything that you're revolting and you're disgusting. Yeah, I didn't say that about you either, Nick. I was talking about that shtick you do in your videos where you make a yucky noise. That's what I was talking about. And I think you know that, but you tried to use that as a way to spin it like I was calling you revolting and disgusting for Shambles. your weight or something like that, which I absolutely wasn't. I was talking about that ongoing joke you have where you make noises and faces like that. I was just saying I find that to be off-putting. He calls them a hairball, which is obviously him kidding around, and I just called it gross because I don't really like those noises. And I'm sure he knows what I was talking about here, but just found it to be easy ammunition to make me look really shitty. So he was able to spin it like, look, he's calling me revolting and gross. He's being a big asshole, which I wasn't. I was just talking about that hairball thing that he does.
This video is going to be really long if Series I keep going through three, every three. point he makes, to be honest. Uh, we're not even like half of the Let's way see. through the response, so I just want to focus on the oh, next this. few big things oh. that he brings up that I think are very important to talk about. He says that I'm like incorrect it. about like the nurse, like the full-time nurse to take care of him, and that's entirely possible. I've tried to keep up with his videos recently to make sure I get the full story, but for me it is very hard to sit through a full mukbang from him because it's just sad to see. I'll, I'll just be straight up honest. I It's hard for me to watch all of them, so sometimes I'll go to Twitter to read threads about Nakato Avocado to be kept up to date, and I recalled reading about a nurse that had to be on standby in order to make sure that he was able to go about his activities. This, he has said, is incorrect, so I do apologize for that. That information that I got there was wrong. 100% and I'll take full responsibility for being incorrect on that point. Now one thing he is blatantly wrong about and I don't know if this is on purpose to make me look bad or something, he keeps saying that I call his viewers fat or I am constantly talking about him being fat and gross. Two things I've never said anywhere in that video. I never said his viewers are fat or insulting his viewers. I was saying his viewers are enabling him to keep doing some of this content. And that, I stand by 100%. You can even see it on this response video. There were so many comments saying, don't listen to him, and when are you doing your next big mukbang? I love to watch you eat this and that and that. Like, that that's enabling. That's the very definition of enabling. It's, it's enabling a bad habit. And it keeps you doing these same things which have had a negative effect on your health. But that's not me all of a sudden saying all your viewers are fat pigs that are gross and yucky, ooh, cooties, yucky, gross pigs in your comments. I never said anything like that. And I don't know why he tries to hint like that. And I think it's, I don't know if it's on purpose or by accident. I think it's supposed to like make his viewers mad at me. Like, can you believe what this guy is saying about us? Which I never did. What I was saying about your audience is that they keep you doing these unhealthy things, which they absolutely are. I wasn't calling you gross. I never said any of that. I said that they are keeping you doing this unhealthy kind of content, which you've done for a few years now, which has negatively affected your health. And I'll say it again. Because that was the point of the video, and that was the point I was making. It's not all your audience's fault. You are making the conscious decision to continue this content and really focus on those numbers, but they do obviously play a role in it. The next thing he talks about is this machine that he's had in every thumbnail for like the last two weeks. He says he's actually had this since he was a kid, and it's nothing new, unrelated to mukbangs and all that. Okay, fair enough. Let's say that's true. Maybe it is. It probably is. I don't see why he'd lie about it. But then why all of a sudden now are you putting it so prominently in every thumbnail and every title talking about being disabled and doing a disabled mukbang? Why are you just now showing this off then? It leads your viewers to believe that the situation's a lot more dire than it is and you're doing it on purpose. You're trying to garner more sympathy out of the situation by having this machine here. It makes it seem like your health is on a really rapid decline. And I think the reason you're doing that is to get more views on it because when people see that you're in distress, they want to see what's going on and want to make sure everything's okay. So if you truly have had this machine for that long, why are you all of a sudden now showing it off like this in the context of being disabled? It's, it's, so it's pretty fucked up. And now uh, I don't want this video to keep dragging on, so the last thing I'll talk about is the broken ribs thing. The subject of like his disabled mukbangs. As I mentioned, he's been kind of jumping around just fine. In this video, he comes stomping in, jumping around just fine. He's not coughing at all in this video, which he's coughed in all the other ones and then like cried out in pain, like yelling about how much pain he's in. On TikTok, he's doing just fine, moving around, jumping, stomping. Either way, that whole situation seems to be all honky-dory now, so that's great. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to talk about this. I feel like he completely missed the point of what I was saying with my video. I wasn't trying to call him all kinds of disgusting names or anything like that. I, I don't even know where he would have gotten that from. Maybe just a complete misunderstanding. I'm not sure, but either way, I still find the entire situation sad. His response didn't change my perspective on everything going on over there. I still think it is all a very sad situation. I feel like if Nakato Avocado was not a successful YouTuber, he would not be doing these kind of mukbangs or eating this way. I feel like that's only there because of the success he's found with these videos, and his response did not change my perspective on that. It didn't change my opinion on it, and uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya. Damn, bro. Uh, what? I mean, I don't know, bro. Like, this is just weird. What do you mean? What do you mean weird? Chat. Okay, so we're definitely not watching the response, right? Well, not yet. But before 
His actual response. Wait, I'm... no, this was after this one. No, it was before though. Was it or am I tripping? No, look, like, see, two days he ago, did this one. Yeah, this is the one we watched. Oh. Then he came out with this, and oh, then this one came out. Oh. Lakers versus Nets. All right, let's see Lakers versus Nets. He breaks character. That's all I want to see. This dude makes fucking if he trilogy Star Wars trilogies. In this let's shit. just see if he breaks character and he's serious. Cause this one says my official response to to Penguins. Um, so yeah. And if you're saying no, please calm the fuck down, bro. We have fucking sixty three hours on this fucking clock. Literally, facts. calm the fuck down right now, bro. <laughs> that is facts. <laughs> um. This says 51,000 dislikes, 8,000 likes. Jesus, what a ratio. Hi everyone, it's me. We're gonna be making a response video to Penguins who made a video about me. Again, I'm furious. So if you wanna hear a nice rant, stay. Get a little comfy. And I'm really, really upset. I'm furious. Do you realize that this person fooled you? He pulled wool over your eyes. I'm telling you, there should be a study on people like this who have this way of sounding really articulate and really intelligent without actually saying anything of intellectual value at all. They're this superiority complex, this self-righteous, this preachy, preachy, holier-than-thou, arrogant, slightly narcissistic way of communicating. But yet he contradicts himself in all of his stuff. And at my expense. Do you realize how serious this is, everybody? He said that I was myself. He said that I was haunting myself. This is disgusting. And when I point this out to him, this supposed, oh, I'm coming from a place of concern. I'm coming from a place of, you know, I'm sad for you. I'm actually concerned for you. Yeah, you're so damn fucked concerned yet you did nothing about that video that's currently spewing all over the internet that currently four million views overnight gee it didn't occur to you to pin a comment to say to people don't leave gee it didn't occur to you to make a little note a little flag that pops up a banner to edit something in to edit something out to put something in the description box don't send this per you lazy lazy narcissistic piece of shit sloppy sloppy work and you know what's strange to me that we have this grown ass man grown ass man sitting in his gaming room making videos about other grown ass men and their choices grown ass men making videos in their gaming room about other grown ass men and their dietary choices or i'm coming from a place of concern He's this just sad. saddens me so much i'm so oh, sad for this individual I'm so sad. I'm so sad for you, Nick. Right? Isn't that right? Mm. This is what I'm seeing your viewers tell me in defense of you. Grown ass men who are concerned making videos like that. If you're concerned, you, you send me an email. You write to me. You DM me. You write to my network. You write to my sponsors. You write to my manager. You reach out in a personal way if you're really concerned. You profited off of this. And the worst part is when I approached you with my response saying, hey, I woke up to a sea of hatred. There's 50,000 comments collectively across five of my YouTube channels that I should, that I should be that I don't deserve to keep because I don't respect my body. And then you had the nerve to come back a second time and say, well, I never stand for hatred. I've made two videos one time about how I don't think it's cool. You have thousands of videos. I don't care if you've made 500 videos about comments. You take the situation at hand for what it is at face value. And if I approach you and say, look, this is bothering me, say something to your followers, and you don't go back to that video and help stop some of the that's on you. That's your character. You want to talk about my character? What if I didn't have the strength to face 8 million people who are coming on my page and tell me to kill myself that I should be dead. And I get it. I get it. You didn't say that. But let's face it. When people see a title that this person's themselves and the average person watches 20 seconds and they're bored or they're at home or they're children or they're dumb or they're just looking to cause mischief, they're going to go to my page and create a bunch of crap that I have to deal with. And if I tell you that I'm hurt 
and you don't take the time to go back to the video that's currently spreading like wildfire to, I don't know, add a description. Hey guys, don't send, don't, don't, don't person, don't wish harm onto them. Make another video and double down on some of the lies? That says so much about your character, Charlie. And I don't want to hear about my character, how I'm supposedly in a character all the time. I was not in a character. I was not. I was not. The first thing that comes out your mouth, which is talking about my crack, my bahooty, what was your goal in talking about my private parts in a video that was supposedly led with compassion and the desire to help me and reach out and spread awareness? No, you, you are passive aggressive and you ain't fooling me. Which, don't say, oh, I didn't talk about his body, his appearance. Then why would you even mention my butt? My crack, you sick, sick person. What business did that have being in your video at all? Oh, to relate that you're just trying to show people how you knew of me? Well, you hypocritical liar. You said in your video that you've been watching me before the mukbangs. That you've been aware of me and you watched my positivity videos from Eras ago, uh, you uh, lying, uh, hypocritical yeah. piece of crap. <laughs> Don't sit mean, here and your supe that. superiority. <laughs> oh, I'm so articulate. I'll this talk shit. like this so that you watch me. You know, he's just trying to get views. You're trying to get views. You sit. You have the nerve to talk about my physical appearance and bring up my. Would you do that to a woman? Imagine, imagine if I was a woman who overate or had some weight issues or whatever, cracked a rib, was, you know, going through some stuff and he opened a video discussing this woman. Oh, look at her private parts. Oh, yeah, everyone's laughing at her private parts. Yeah, look at her privates. He, he called me disgusting so many times, like five times. And then this video, he's like, well, I didn't call you disgusting. I never said that. Yeah, but you said my actions were disgusting. Same thing. Same thing, people connect the dots, people draw conclusions, whether they're correct or not, you think you're articulate, but you're really not. And you give license for people to come to my page and <laughs> me, my family, my team, my manager, my network, and I'm telling you, as of yesterday, I am sick and bothered to wake up to All people right. wishing I was dead, uh, because apparently I can't take care of myself, and, 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 and what do you do? You song double song. down and say, but, well, uh, I made videos in the past that. about not sending Ooh, hate. Who cares? That's irrelevant. And they're not nice people. You have a lot of phobic viewers, which is fine. That's not your fault. But part of being a responsible creator is that when someone approaches you and say, hey, look, I'm in distress because of you. And you have the nerve to say, oh, well, he advertised his Patreon. So I'm, I, I just don't take any of this seriously. F you. F you. It was five seconds. And I say it in every video. Do you discredit universities that are funded by things? Do you discredit medical studies because they're funded by things? Do you discredit beautiful documentaries because they have commercials in them? Do you discredit um, speeches because they have advertisements? Do you discredit anything that has money associated with it? This is the way I make a living. This is my bread and butter. I have a one man show. If I have five second, hey guys, I have a Patreon, shout out to my Patreon, and then I continue to go in depth about how you twisted shit, and you dismiss it all because, oh, he had a Patreon shout out. Oh, I can't take him seriously. Does that sound like the actions of someone who's really concerned, who's really saddened for me? That's the number one well, thing I see from his viewers. He's play. just concerned for you, Nick. We're also worried. He's coming from a place of concern. He's not concerned for me at all. You lied about my CPAP machine. You lied about the, my ribs and the way in which I broke them. You lied about me having an assistant or a nanny or a nurse. You lied about the fact that I eat all of my food on camera, which is so crazy to me because you're also saying you've been watching me forever and you've been keeping up to tabs with me over the years. So how much have you actually watched? It's clear to everybody that I don't finish my food. It's just, it, this is this is ridiculous. And then he'll go into this, we're, we're going to play his video a little bit. And he says, well, I didn't attack his weight. I'm only talking about what I would say to anyone else. You know, I don't care if he's fat or skinny. If I see a skinny person eating like that, I would call them out. Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, gee, where's your line of videos about all the other mukbang channels? Huh? I'm one of thousands, and actually I'm not that popular compared to the ones in Korea or Japan, even some American ones who post every day just like me and they're skinny. It, it would be a logical assumption that you'd have some other videos like this out there if this was something that deeply concerned you, this concept of eating bad food or having incorrect diets. Well, where are all those other videos? To those all those other people who eat just as often and fre frequently as I do, but are skinny. Where are they?
Where are they? I'm waiting. Yeah, they don't exist. First you say that I have an eating disorder, clearly, that I have no control over this, that this is something that, you know... Dude, I've never, I don't understand, like, there are literally still people nine minutes in this video that are spamming, turn this off. So you mean to tell me, you sat here for <laughs> ten minutes, not wanting to watch this, and still sat here <laughs> spamming shut this off when literally all you could do is you could go like this you could literally do one watch look look watch you see but no you're sitting here you're being fucking annoying you're being a little spoiled little kid it's fine bro oh shit bro no, I mean, I'm done with these unless he says yeah, something like, back. Yeah, th this shit is the longest shit. Like, this is just... fucking Star Wars trilogy movies out of these vids. Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, this is done. Yeah, you didn't reply back. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Oh my god, the amount of views, though. Holy shit. Yeah. Dude, he's goaded. And dude, no, these views are crazy compared to all his other oh, yeah, videos, though, bro. Dude, because people love drama.